Good morning. This is James Gall, and this is a Monday, I think it is. And uh, but of course, you might be in a different time zone in another part of the world. And this is uh, our uh, our fifteenth morning out of twenty one in doing this. I reference this as our global Esther moment in participating in the greater Isaiah 62 time of, I call it, prayer and fasting. And there's many applications of this, right? And do you realize that this is historic? Do you know that you are helping make history right now? This has never happened in the history of Judaism, this has never happened before in the history of the church. Yes. Mike Bickle received a portion of God's heart to originally call forth for 100,000 people that he thought might grow to 1 million. Now, the eventual goal would be to see 100 billion people as even a remnant to pray and fast for God's purposes for Jerusalem and Israel. Now, I add, and the Middle East. Now, I have known Mike Bickle. We met when he was 17 years old and I was 19, and we rode on that famous bus together from Colonial Presbyterian Church in Kansas City to Explo 72. So that's how long we've known each other, and we're still friends. Now that's a testimony, isn't it? <laughs> and then 40 years ago, right now, this when he was a young man, and I had hair, <laughs> he called forth for a Joel's Army fast. And I was pastoring in Warrensburg, Missouri, and we had a Jesus house right in the middle of Central Missouri State University. And he had just moved from St. Louis, Missouri to Kansas City. And he was so audacious that he called forth for a 21-day, he called it the Joel's Army Fast. <laughs> and 21 days. And what days were they? May 7th through May 28th wow. in 1983. And I was only 30 years old. And I heard, as it were, the reverberations of a trumpet sound of heaven in my heart. And I thought, wow. I was, now see, I was already a person at 30 years old of prayer and fasting. I was already, now giving you a little bit more of my personal history, and that's okay. I already was fasting two days every week. Mm -hmm. And I already, at 30 years old, would go on two 21-day fasts every year. So when I, because I read that John Wesley, because I came from Wesleyan roots, mm -hmm. and I heard that John Wesley would not ordain anyone to ministry, unless they prayed and fasted two days every week. And so I just thought, well, I guess that's what... No, uh, uh, I, I got to make sure you understand something. This was not the law to me. It was a delight. Yeah, I loved doing this. Yeah. It was never, never, no, 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 no way. It was never obligation, never. 
It was never an obligation. It was never a law. I was never trying to twist God's arm. It was always an invitation into participation. It was always a, actually a delight. You say, a delight? Fasting two days every week? Uh-huh. You know, and I was skinny. And sometimes it actually wasn't maybe the smartest thing to do for a skinny little guy to go on two 21-day fast. And yes, I do remember when I went on that Joel's Army fast, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit did, you know what? Listen to this one. I don't know sometimes why I tell some of the stories I do, but I trust I'm being led. In the middle of that Joel's Army 21-day fast, not only did we, Michael Ann and I, with our small church, lead 21 nights of worship. And not only did I get touched by an angel, one of those nights, and not only did I receive a knowing, a divine knowing, that I had to give up my pastoral ministry and give up everything I knew <laughs> to move to Kansas City to go be a part of whatever it was that God was birthing there. And I did. I did. I remember the message I gave to our church. Part of it, and I said, what I'm going to now share is going to make some of you mad, some of you sad, and some of you glad. <laughs> and I told them how I had to let go of what I knew in order to go forth into what I did not know. And that then took me on the journey because then it was in that 21 day fast of when I met Bob Jones, the seer prophet Bob Jones. Mm -hmm. And the day I met, the, the day I met him, he prayed for Michael Ann and she was supernaturally had become because we were barren, and at, and he prayed a blessing on her womb and prophesied over our son, Justin. He didn't prophesy to me. And I started traveling with him from that day forward. And then I became joined to what became known as the Kansas City Prophets. But I had to let go of what I knew yeah. in order to enter into what was unknown. It's a pattern. We are there again. Mm -hmm. We are there again. 40 years later. Yeah. 40 years later. We are there again. At the close of the women, the 25th annual Women on the Front Lines Conference, mm -hmm. of which both of our daughters shared at, of which they attended that church. And now 25 years later, Michael and now in heaven for over 15 years, full circle, both of our daughters spoke at that conference. But I closed out that conference with a prophetic act of closing a door and opening a door. Because that's where we are again. Mm -hmm. 
and we have to not slam a door. And how we close the door is partially determines how we go through the next door. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do we shut the door with forgiveness? With blessing? When we maybe have had injustices? Mm. And this is an odd way to start a, <laughs> let's say, day 15. No, it's not, probably, because I'm being led. Because for some reason today, I think we're on we're going to be on a theme about closing and opening doors for some reason. Mm -hmm. And there are doors that are being closed and opened in the Middle East. And I'll hold that one, and we'll come back to it. But in your lives right now, you might be going through some things that you might be going to have to close some doors. I'm not telling you to leave your marriage, by the way. <laughs> okay? Please don't misinterpret the words of this old sage. But... There are some things that we have to let go of. Mm -hmm. And we must forgive. Yeah. And we must bless. And But we, in close it, we can't slam a door and go, well, those so-and-sos. Mm -hmm. No. We close the door. It's the Isaiah 22, 22, and the Revelations 3, 7. But how we, this is a partial truth. It's a truth, but it's only part of the truth. How we close a door in a season will determine how we go through the next door. Will we go through with blessing? Or will we have to feel like we have to push our way through? Or will we go through with favor? Yeah. Oh. So this is way. Hi, this is James W. Golf with Gone Encounters Ministries and Global Prayer Storm. And I want to welcome you from around the world because we are entering into not just a season of renewal. We've had great seasons of renewal, and we will have more seasons of refreshing and renewal. We are entering into a season of the great harvest. Mm -hmm. A season of the great harvest. I wrote about the differences in my, the most timely book I have ever written. I didn't say that it's the best book I've ever written, but Revival Breakthrough. Preparing for Seasons of Glory, Awakening, and the Great Harvest. And that's where we are right now. And it's where the Middle East is right now. Joel 3.13 says, put in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. The nations are ripe. Your neighborhood is ripe. The world is ripe for the great harvest. Mm -hmm. And I participated 40 years ago in a Joel's Army fast. And so Mike Bickle called forth for a 21-day fast, but it was more specific this time for 
Jerusalem, Israel, and I've added the phrase, and the Middle East. And so I want to welcome my some of my friends that I dearly appreciate. This is Shelby Gilmore that's down here on the lower right-hand side. Her and her husband, Greg, have a ministry called Welcome Home International. They were pioneer missionaries in Afghanistan and in Pakistan many, many years ago. But Shelby is from Sri Lanka, and she speaks distinct languages of Farsi and different languages. And right so now, Nashville, like many cities, is like a city of refuge. Yeah. And so it is a city where there's more Kurds are located here than in any other city in the United States. But now there are more displaced or replaced Afghanistan about burst out crying. <laughs> and Shelby has a great ministry of deliverance and fire and counsel. And she understands the Muslim world and how they think. And she understands women who come from a world view of oppression. But she's not oppressed. She's been set free by <laughs> Jesus, her husband, and me. No. <laughs> and the Holy Ghost. And she's an ambassador. And uh, Shelby, would you just give us a greeting? Yes. Yes, like um, James said, I'm Shelby Gilmore and known James for I think 25 years or so, oh even God. more, I think. Um, yeah. He has been such an encouragement to the ministry that we've been doing all over the world, actually. And right now here in, uh, in uh, Nashville, Tennessee, where there are 285 Afghan families, depressed, oppressed, suicidal, children are separated from families, it's just heartbreaking, and I'm so glad to be here now to be able to do this ministry and church planting among them, among the Parsi speakers and Pashto speakers. And we are so thrilled that yeah. James is a part of it. And right now, I'm so excited to be a part of praying for Jerusalem because working in Muslim nations and uh, Buddhist. Hindu nations, you're always praying for them and for the harvest there. And for me, this is all like, wow, this is a new thing, but it's so exciting to join James and the five millions of you all and pray for Jerusalem. And we're going to see a revival yeah. just as we are seeing in other nations. So I am excited to be part of this, James. Yeah. So thank you. And and so uh, this is Peggy Adams, and um, Peggy has been on the broadcast with us before, and I know I'm taking uh, quite a while to actually do this introduction today, but that's okay. And uh, Peggy has served in multiple ministries, and, um, and she helped me with the uh, day to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And Peggy, what is your ministry? She relocated in North Carolina. And what's the name of your ministry? Thank you, James. And good morning, everyone. I'm in North Carolina, and my ministry is Kingdom Voice. And of course, you can add the 418, which is Luke 418. Uh, oh, <laughs> the Spirit that's of the Lord is upon okay. me, for He has anointed me, and He's anointed all of us. But uh, so that's my ministry, and I'm excited about what God's doing in this season. I'm still branching out with my friends in Nashville as well. Um, yes. I think somebody prophesied that I was a boomerang uh, <laughs> that was. before I left. Uh, so I'm back and forth, but uh, it's an honor to pray with James. And, you know, James, as you just mentioned, the 
day of prayer for the peace of Jerusalem. I mean, I, I've had a heart because God called me in 2015, actually took me into travailing intercession for Jerusalem, mm -hmm. looking at the Star of David. And he said, get your passport ready because you will go to Israel. And so I felt like when I served you uh, on October 2nd for that day of prayer for the peace of Jerusalem, I felt like that was my open door. Good. Uh, for preparation than doing this. So it's an yeah. honor yeah. to pray. Right. Okay. Amen. Well, thank you so much, uh, Shelby and Peggy. Well, let's uh, dive in. Yeah. And Shelby, will you uh, take us? And if you have a Bible, will you open it up to uh, whatever translation that you have to Isaiah chapter 62, verses 1 through 7, and Shelby's going to lead us there. Amen. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not remain quiet. Oh, Father, I just thank you so much that there are voices being heard even right now on behalf of the sake of Zion and Jerusalem. We, our voices are louder than any other voices today on behalf of Jerusalem. We shall not keep quiet, not just now, during these 28 days, but Lord, we pray this is a continuation yes. of 5 million or even more joining us in praying and crying out to you, Father God, yes, Lord. for the sake of Zion and Jerusalem. Till her vindication shines out like the dawn, her salvation like blazing torch, we thank you, Father, that salvation belongs to you. And we thank you and we praise you that it shall shine forth in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you that they shall come to know the Savior, Jesus Christ, Messiah, Jesus. We thank you, Lord God Almighty. The nations will see your vindication. Yes, and Lord. all kings, your glory, you will be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will bestow. You will be crowned. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You will be a crown of splendor in the Lord's hand, a royal diadem in the hand of your God. No longer will they call you deserted, or name you land of desolate, but you will be called Hephzibah, and you, your land, Beulah, for the Lord will take delight in you. We thank you, God Almighty. You will be pleased. You will be delighted, Almighty God. We thank you that the name will be changed. <laughs> It will never be called a desolate land. It will never be called a land that is as a desert, even though it does look as it is right now. But God Almighty, you are coming forth with salvation. You are coming forth with the peace that you have promised. We are praying for the peace of Jerusalem. We are, we are praying and crying out to you, God, for the light and the glory of God to shine on them. We thank you, Lord, for that city shall be called the city of glory, the city of joy, the city of praise. God, we thank you that you are changing what is now we've seen, even what we have seen in the past 75 years, Lord. It is increasing. The prophecies are being fulfilled. And we thank you, Father, for it. We bless you, mighty God. And your land will be married as a young man marries a young woman. So will your builder marry you. As the bridegroom rejoice over his bride, so will you, your God, rejoice over you. Yes, Lord, we thank you. The day of rejoicing coming forth, even as we stand our ground, Lord, 
even as, even as we sit on the walls watching, Father God, as watchmen, we praise you and thank you and believe fully with our whole heart, Lord God, that we shall rejoice and your heart will rejoice over Jerusalem. I have posted watchmen on your walls, Jerusalem. They will never be silent day or night. You who call on the Lord, give yourself no rest and give him no rest till he establishes Jerusalem and makes her the praise of the earth. We say wow. amen to that Lord and we say yes, she shall be the praise of the earth. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Uh, Peggy, uh, is there a phrase, a verse that's highlighted to you today? And what is it? And then you pray into it. I actually want to highlight the last part of verse 6 and then go into verse 7. This is great. stirring mm -hmm. my spirit. Okay. The last part of verse 6, do not keep silent mm -hmm. <laughs> and give him no rest until he establishes, until he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And so, Father, as you have put these two verses really on my heart for the last several days, and, and I've really been pondering them and meditating on them and chewing on them and even studying them. I, first of all, as Shelby was praying Verse six, I just sense from the Lord that he is expounding in this 21 days, Father, that you are calling out. You said, I have set watchmen. And that you are calling out multitudes, multitudes yes. of watchmen you, to join in with the watchmen who have already been praying, yes, who have my. already been interceding for decades and for years and for years. And, and yes. so, Lord, today, I just first of all want to say, I sign up. Mm -hmm. I sign up yes. as a watchman on the wall. And That's Lord, right. as you said, do not keep silent and give you no rest, no rest. to press in. Lord, I'm reminded yeah. of the, the woman who went before the unjust judge and she continually said, avenge me, my adversary, avenge me, my adversary. She did not keep silent until mm -hmm. he gave her and granted her, re her request. And Lord, I ask today, God, that you will stir our hearts to do the same thing, that we will be awakened in the night even to pray and to intercede and to uh, receive revelation from you, God, on how yeah. to pray as the watchmen. The watchmen were on the wall to look yes, Lord. and to hear Thank what you, you are speaking and what you are sharing so that they can tell the people, so that the people can be on guard to pray yes. and intercede. And so, God, I call forth for more Thank watchmen. You. But, Lord, I also want to really yes. go in on this verse 7. You said, until you... He established this to you, God, established, to you erect, to you set up, to you confirm that until you make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And I just, mm -hmm. what is a praise in the earth? Yeah. And God used to go to the concordance and look up the word praise. That word praise means mm. a hymn. Huh. I thought about two things. <laughs> that word praise means a hymn. And so the definition <laughs> of a hymn is a song of praise to God. Mm -hmm. I wept when you said that because, Lord, this city has a destiny to be a song of praise to all mm -hmm. the earth. Yes. In the earth is what the New King James Version says, a song of praise in the earth. And so, Lord, help us to continue to use our voice to call forth the destiny of this one city that you have called out as a royal diadem mm -hmm. for the one that is crowned with glory <laughs> lord, mm, bless yes. you. thank you lord and we thank call you, for today. Lord. jerusalem jerusalem take your place as the city that is destined to be a song of praise into all the earth in mm -hmm. jesus name. Amen. Thank you. A amen. And, and I just want to agree with that. It says, until Jerusalem is established, 
It doesn't just say proclaimed. Mm. Yeah. It says established. There is a difference. Yes, thank you, Lord. But let's deal with this for a moment because there is power in words. Mm -hmm. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. The book of Proverbs and the book of James says. Now, Jerusalem... Hey, hey, folks, you know what? Let's, let's get real. Sometimes we curse our cities. Yeah. Sometimes with our own mouth. We will say things something like, no. I know we're, okay, I know right now we're dealing with colloquialisms, idioms, and figures of speech that might not translate well across different cultures. So, bear with me. We might say something like, oh, you just don't know what my city is like. It's the armpit of America. Or, try this, it's Death Valley. It's the place where prophets come and prophets die. Or, it's like Ezekiel 37. It's the valley of dry bones. And a lot of people say worse things. They say over their cities, yeah, well, you just don't know. It's lush. It's great where you are because the river runs through your city. But our city, the river came and it just kept going. Or something like that. Now, my point is, we have the power to speak death and we have the power to speak life over our cities. Now, but here, let's be specific about Jerusalem. And Shelby, you would be better at addressing something here than I would be. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell a testimony because in the Islamic faith, they have minarets, the towers, and they have a call to prayer. Now, we've got a, a humming going on. I don't know what that sound is right now. Um, yeah, thank you. I don't know what that was. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, there's towers or they're called minarets and there will be calls to prayer and you know daniel was in exile in babylon and he knelt three times a day at a window towards jerusalem and he prayed three times a day in the Islamic faith, they have a discipline. Now, and they will stop. Uh, um, help me, um, excuse me, Shelby. How many times a day do they do this call to prayer? Five times a day. Look at that, five times a day. And it's specifically men, right? Yes, sir. And they have their, like, carpet, right? They Will call you... it prayer carpet. They have a prayer carpet, and they carry it with them, don't they? They do. And so if you want to talk about marketplace prayer, they already have this down. We are the ones who are behind. And so they, five times a day, have a call to prayer. Now, it's short, but they 
quote, quote, excuse me, I don't mean to offend anyone, have their fear of Allah, and they bow down. They prostrate themselves five times a day. And they stop everything they're doing, roll out their carpet, and will pause everything they're doing. Now, we don't do that. We're too busy. We're too busy... with I'll let that go now but where I was trying to get to is this point but there are actually demonic decrees that are going out here's the problem now there's an aspect that's like extremely stunning but there's a flip side because that's demonic because out of these mosque and minarets an iman will emerge and they're releasing demonic decrees regularly into the sound waves into the heavenlies now, why am I saying this? They have a plan. They have a strategy to permeate the airwaves. That's why this says Jerusalem will be established as a praise. Because Jerusalem is bombarded, not as a praise as a cuss word. It is bombarded with spiritual warfare with this and with that and with this and with that. And we as believers need to step up our game. We as believers need to take... Uh -huh. We as believers, so I'm, I'm going to tell you this one, one experience. I was ministering in um, Sarajevo, Bosnia Herzegovina. It was still Yugoslavia at the time. Bosnia Herzegovina with Maheshavda. I was doing the daytime teaching on prayer. He was doing the evening miracle services. I was on the third floor of a hotel seeking God. It was a corner room. My room of the hotel was all glass. Right across the street there was a minaret. A man steps out, an iman. I am praying in tongues. He steps out to do his... Now, sometimes it's all just tape recorded. It's just digital recordings nowadays. But in this case... There was an iman who stepped out on the minaret, on the balcony, to do his prayer call. Because it's spiritual warfare. And I was doing mine. And I was in my hotel room, third or fourth floor, same level, looking out, And we are now eyeball to eyeball.
I see what he's doing. But I'm in the Holy Ghost. I'm sending out airwaves, words that have power, that have power to bring down demonic decrees. This man catches me. Because he knows there's interference. And he knew that something was blocking his normal patterns. Yes. And so he's looking all around out of his minaret, his tower. And he saw me. And he quit. Because greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. And now, it was just a short little experience, but he quit his job that day. And he went back inside, and I just continued. Shobo kosomo kala papa tita mama bajido go ba mama. Hallelujah. And I'm saying. This is what it takes because it isn't only to proclaim, but we must establish Jerusalem as a praise in the earth. Yeah. Hallelujah. What do you ladies say about that? Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yeah. What do you think about that, Shelby? You got a lot of experience in these things. That is powerful. That is powerful, James. I had the experience of sitting at Papa Don's little home on the top of the hill, yeah. looking towards the other side and just praying, and same thing happened. The loudspeaker just came yep. out with the chanting from prayer to, you know, call to prayer, and I started praying in tongues and sitting at the little balcony just mm -hmm. uh, saying, God, show your power right now, Lord, to show us that you are at work and you are on the throne. As I pointed my hand towards the place and prayed, the whole thing collapsed. There was yeah. no more call to prayer, but <laughs> our voices were coming out louder in yeah. prayer. Right yeah. from the hilltop, and it was amazing. We've so got I'm so good. <laughs> we've got to learn our authority. Yeah, amen, amen. And you know something? We need to release our song. Come on. <laughs> we need to release our song of praise. Yeah. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Well. Yeah. Uh, uh, Peggy, do you have another scripture or something that you would like to uh, pray into? Yeah, I want to go back actually to verse three and okay, the thank you. crown of glory and the mm -hmm. diadem. <laughs> okay. So, Father, I just want to say thank you so much that you have established Jerusalem. And with the power and the authority that you've given us, God, we can speak and declare these things mm -hmm. over this city because she's already been established and she's already been proclaimed by you. Yes. You have also given us authority and a power to call this out, to awaken the eyes of her understanding that she can see this as well. And so I just want to pray today, Lord, your word says in Isaiah 60, verse 1, Arise, mm -hmm. for your light okay. has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen Hallelujah. on you, Jerusalem. <laughs> Arise, shine, for your light has come. It's already yes. come. And the glory of the Lord is shining upon Thank you. Thank you, it's shining Jesus. shining from you. It's being declared over you. And so I call you into this place of your royal diadem. That's right. I call yes, you into this Lord. place of the glory yes. of the Lord being released out of you and into the nations, into the surroundings. 
mighty nations and the nations of the earth. You have a calling and a destiny from the almighty God. Um, the God who created um, you. The God who formed you. The God who called you out. Yes, Lord. City, yes, the powerful, Jesus. magnificent city that you mm -hmm. are. The microphone mm -hmm. to proclaim mm -hmm. over you and call you up and call you out to be yes. the Lord has established you, you to be this royal diadem. I just see you as a diamond sitting there glistening <laughs> with all of its facets and, and each each facet is calling into each nation, each Thank color you, of the Father. facets Thank is you, being uh, released into all the <laughs> nations of the earth as, as this diamond just twi turning God and I thank you Lord that you have already established this and mm -hmm. we just call it forth with our voice in the name of Jesus Amen. Amen. and Shelby won't you just agree Amen. with this yes. yes it was so on I mean I'm just getting goosebumps James because <laughs> this is what I was going to share us uh, Isaiah 60 <laughs> and then Peggy took over and it is amazing the same spirit is working today yes. and God is telling us to declare arise shine for yes. your light has come yes. and the glory of the Lord rises upon you see darkness cover the earth and the and thick darkness is over the people but the but the Lord, the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears on oh, you, yes. Jerusalem. Yes. Nations will come to your light. Hallelujah. Yes. You are the city of light, and the nations yes. will come. And kings to the brightness of your dawn. All the kings of the nations will come to the brightness of your dawn. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter which powerful king it is and from which True. nation, every king will yeah. bow before. Come on. The king of kings, the lord of lords, the peace giver to Jerusalem, the prince of peace, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. The Amen. King of the nations. Glory Amen. to God. Can you tell that I got some crazy worshipers with me today? Oh, well, <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Now, <laughs> now listen to this. They go off on Isaiah 60, and you know what was in my heart to read today? It's not from the mystery of Israel in the Middle East. It's actually from my revival breakthrough book. <laughs> it's from the preface, because watch this. Here's what I'm going to read. God has a dream. Arise, shine. Your light has come. And the yes. glory of the Lord is yes. risen upon you. Thank this is in my newest Jesus. book, Revival Breakthrough. It's in the preface. Isaiah 60, verse 1. Now, watch this. I walk in the spiritual gift of prophecy, and I receive many dreams from God while on assignments for him. I have dreams about people and mm -hmm. subjects that are important to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Recently, I was going to sleep. I prayed, God, do you have a dream? If you have a dream, would you like to share your dream with me? And if you share your dream with me, would you give me permission to share your dream with others? Now, in other words, you know, I go places, I do things, and God will give me a dream mm -hmm. about the assignment. But not long ago, right before I wrote this book, I said, God, what's your dream? Not what's your dream for other people, not what's your dream for a city for an assignment. Hey, novel idea. God, do you have a dream? And if you have a dream, would you like to share your dream with me? <laughs> and if you would share it with me, would you give me permission to share that dream with others? And here's what happened. After this, I fell asleep, and I had a very simple dream. 
in which I saw myself sitting up in my bed with my Bible open. In this dream, I could hear myself reading from Isaiah 60, verses 1 through 3. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Mm -hmm. For behold, darkness will cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. Mm -hmm. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear. Nations yes. will come to the brightness of your light, and kings, that's plural, mm -hmm. kings to the brightness of your rising. I woke up from this dream to find myself sitting up in my bed with my arms out like as though I was holding something. And I was also prophesying from both the above scripture in Isaiah 60 verses 1 to 3. And also, I was also out loud prophesying from Haggai chapter 2 verse 14. Arise, shine, for the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. And the knowledge of the glory of the Lord is going to cover the earth as the waters cover the seas. Amen. I have a prophetic word for you. God has a dream in his heart. Wow. And it is about the great harvest of souls for his kingdom. Mm -hmm. It is about God's people being transformed more and more into the image of his son jesus yes most of all it is about the manifestation of his glory mm -hmm. part of god's dream is for his people let's see part of god's dream is for his glory to come to the world anew and increasingly spread throughout the earth we are entering into a movement of the Holy Spirit that is a latter glory of God dream. Haggai 2.9 says, The glory of this present house will be greater than the glory of the former house, says the Lord Almighty. And in this place I will grant peace, declares the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. God wants to share this dream with us. He welcomes us to partner with him to fulfill his purposes. The great harvest will come when God's people will have a re breakthrough of revival, a movement of the Holy Spirit in our midst in which we are cleansed, empowered, healed, and commissioned so that we can truly be partners with him. This movement will transform not only us, but also the world around us as multitudes of people see and experience the great latter day glory of yeah. God. And I do reference Amen. that it does center around Jerusalem, Israel, in the Middle East. So Father, we thank you that today you had a plan to direct us into that God has a dream. Mm -hmm. And that part of God's dream yes. is to establish mm -hmm. Jerusalem as a praise in the earth. Yes. <laughs> and that part of your dream is Isaiah 61 to 3 <laughs> is to release yes. your glory. Amen. So we pray yes. into it like mm -hmm. Moses did in Exodus 33. Thank you, Father. Oh boy, this is a big one. Show us your glory. Amen. For Jerusalem. For Israel. Yeah. For the Middle East. Show us your glory. Show us your For God so loved the world. Yes. Amen. That he gave his only son. Yeah. The world. That whosoever mm -hmm. would believe in him. Yes. Would not perish. <laughs> but would have everlasting life. That God so loved the world. The world. Amen. Amen. Today. Thank you, God. While we pray for Jerusalem. We pick up a tiny portion 
of God's heart for all mm -hmm. the descendants of Abraham. Yes. And we are calling forth for a glory invasion. Yes. Yes, Jesus. Yes. We and we mm -hmm. do not know what we're asking for. We don't know. We don't know what we're asking for. And it's okay. Lean not on your own understanding. And so we don't have to understand what we're asking for. We are right raw asking for a glory invasion because it's your dream. Yes, Lord. It's in your book. Yes. Would you send a glory invasion? Jesus. Yes, God. Yes. Because Jesus. you know what? That's the only answer for the Middle East. Yes. There is no roadmap for the Middle East. Almighty God. Be glorified. There is no true shalom apart from Jesus. Jesus, Peace. would you send a glory invasion? Amen. You know what? I would like for you all in chat right now, by, by an act of agreement, would you do something in chat right now and say something like, God, would you send a glory invasion? Yes. And maybe you might say, would you send a glory invasion in Montana? Would you send a glory invasion in mm -hmm. Alabama? Would you send a glory invasion in Malaysia? Would you, God, would you send a glory invasion into Jerusalem? Yes. I want you to go over into chat right now. Because th this is, you know what? This is a window of agreement. Yes. I, I've never done this before. This is a window where two or three agree. I want us to agree for a glory invasion, Amen. but you have authority in your locality that I don't. Yes. Amen. And you have a glory, you have invasion for Nigeria. You have you have authority for Nigeria that I don't. You have authority. Yes. yes. Somebody else pick it up right now because you, yes. you, I think, do you yes. understand what I'm saying? Yes. I mean, chat's right. going nuts, and yeah. it needs to. <laughs> Chat, go crazy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lord. Send a glory invasion to Asia. Send a glory invasion to Western North Carolina. Send yes, a glory Lord. invasion yes, Lord. to Texas, to Jerusalem, yes, to South Jesus. Carolina. Lord, send a glory invasion to Jamaica. And to, to Singapore. Singapore. Mm -hmm. Singapore. Mm -hmm. yes. Canada. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Yeah, yes. Shelby, pick Jesus. it up. Yes, Lord, you have given us all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, Lord Jesus, with that authority, we claim, we claim yes. your glory invasion in Pakistan, in yeah. Afghanistan. And we claim that, oh God, in our states here in America, in Texas, Lord, Alaska, Yes. And Lord Jesus, we just bless you and thank you, Lord God. You are releasing your glory, Lord, to Jerusalem, yes. to Tennessee. Yes. Yes. Oh, God, we thank you. We praise you, Lord God, to Congo in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. The thank fire you, of God, the glory of God come forth in Jesus' name to the Philippines. And to Croatia. Listen, yes. I, I, you know what? Is it, This absolutely undoes me because... So many of you, these people in my past, now I haven't been able to travel because of all of the surgeries and the sciatic nerve pain, you know, that I have suffered. And I haven't been able to now travel for five plus years. But when I look at much of this, now I've not been to Bangladesh, but maybe, maybe uh, Shelby has. But when I look at many of these places, yeah. I go, I've been there. Yeah. I've been to Albania. Switzerland. I, I, I've been to Switzerland. I've been to New Jersey. And I've been there. I've been to these places. I've been to Germany. I've been to 14 times to Russia. I've been to Trinidad, Tobago. I've been to, 
you know, not, you know, mm -hmm. and so we speak and I, and I was oh, like, yeah. and, 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 and Shelby, you lived in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. so you have authority to agree. Shelby, Amen. will you agree into that? Yes. Yes. We just pray for the glory of God to come forth into Afghanistan, especially at this situation yes. where people are dying of famine and children are dying of famine. And the rulers of that land are so demonically yeah. possessed. We just come against them in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we pray, Lord God Almighty, let your kingdom come. come let on. your will be done in yeah. that land as it is in heaven. In the name of Jesus. Do miracles, Lord. Mighty miracles, Lord God. Even over the phone calls that we make. Yep. And these people mm -hmm. shall see the glory of God yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Glory invasion into Afghanistan. Glory yes, invasion into Pakistan. Yes. Into Saudi Arabia in the mighty name of Jesus. And, and, um, yes. Pick it up. Uh, sorry, uh, Peggy, Peggy. Pick it up. Yes. Lord, thank you for your glory invasion in Hong Kong. Thank you Jesus. For your yes. Glory invasion in Central Asia. Thank yeah. you, Lord, for your glory invasion into Kentucky and where our dear friend mm -hmm. Wallen is. Right. Thank you, Lord, for your glory invasion. In Malaysia and India yeah. and Thailand and Venezuela. Yes, Lord. We ask God that you invade them mm -hmm. as the walk your glory. The knowledge of your glory covers them. Mm -hmm. uh, invade these Jesus. nations, France, Germany, Austria, God. Yes. Yes. Lord, Lord, glory invasion in the Lord. Ontario, Canada, God. Amen. Taiwan, Lord. Yes, Jesus. The yes, Jesus. Taiwan. We ask God that you touch them. Lord, Louisiana, we mm -hmm. call for glory mm -hmm. and in New Orleans, yes, Lord. Louisiana, and all the mm -hmm. things surrounding them in Kansas and yeah. Missouri. Yeah. God, thank you, Lord. you, Lord. The glory Bless of you, Lord. Japan. Yes, and mm -hmm. New Jersey. Japan. We need, Lord, Washington, D.C., we yeah, need a glory invasion in our nation's Jesus. capital, God. Mm -hmm. so we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, from Mexico, God, our neighbors mm -hmm. in the south of us. Lord, let there be a glory invasion glory glory. in Mexico glory and glory. New York City and Vietnam and South Korea, God. Thank, thank, you, Korea. thank, thank you, Jesus. God. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Amen, Lord. Yes, Jesus. California, God, we pray, mm -hmm. God, greater glory. In this the name uh, of Jesus. state where Billy Graham did his first tent crusade, his massive tent crusade, God, we call forth, God, the revival of California that's already in progress. We call that forth in the name of Jesus for a greater outpouring of the Spirit of God in California. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Italy, yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank, thank you, Italy. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. In Australia, New Zealand, and uh, the thank Pacific you, Islands. Father. Anyone been to the Pacific Islands? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bhutan and Burundi, in the name of Jesus, greater yeah. glory, greater glory invasion. Oh, God Almighty. Even right here in America, Lord, yes, we Lord. need it, Father. Amen. We need it, Jesus. Pour forth your glory and your fire, Lord, the consuming yeah. fire to consume <laughs> everything yes. that is not of God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for your glory release in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Praise Lord. Praise God. New Guinea, Papua New Guinea, yes, Brazil, Belize, mm -hmm. Yep. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Peru, Jesus. God Almighty, God Almighty, greater invasion, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we bless you. Japan, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, release your glory. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes, Lord, we, we 
pray for an outpouring of your spirit, your glory, your power. Lord, we thank you, God, for the surrounding states of Iowa as well. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for uh, Waynesboro, Georgia. Yes. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Danville, Georgia. Thank you, Jesus. Some of our southern states are coming in here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, East Coast. Thank you, Lord, for Russia. Lord, that you are doing a mighty work in the midst of of what seems like war and desperation. God, you still pouring out. Thank you, Lord. Release of your glory in Russia. Oh yes, absolutely. In Ukraine. Amen. Yes, Lord. Lord, we just lift all these people that are on here today. That's right. We live and that are in agreement with us today. And while we are listing nations, but we bless the people and their families. And we are asking. Today, we landed into something. Every day, we land into something. One day, it was the weeping heart of God. Another day, it was the descendants of Abraham. Another day, it was Jerusalem shall remain a united city. Today, it's a glory invasion. Man. And so we Man. just speak over people now, not just cities. And I know mm -hmm. our time is, you know, precious. So we speak, though, over you as individuals. Yes. And you as individuals represent whole families. Mm -hmm. And we speak over mm -hmm. my dear, our dear friend, Bunny Warland. And we speak over Habib. Uh, a seal and over <laughs> he's Bethany. one of my disciples are you kidding I, yeah he's a he's an afghan believer <laughs> wonderful well there we go uh, oh that's great well bless you hubby <laughs> and you, and your yes. entire family and mm -hmm. may you be a disciple of disciples amen in jesus yes, name Lord. Yes, Habib, you're yes. going to be a disciple of disciplers in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, hey, Shelby, help me because I want to send some of my, um, I want to send some resources. Okay. I want to send, you know who I am. I want to <laughs> send some resources to this, uh, this Habib. Okay. Yes. So you Thank get, you help follow up and get the email and everything. So, Abib, I'm going to send some resources because that landed on me. You're to be a disciple of disciples. You're a mm -hmm. discipler mm -hmm. of why. disciples. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we bless uh, Susan and Carol, and we bless uh, yeah. Sherry and your family. And Pansy, you have uh, been on many of my classes, I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, Carol, you, and I think that there is a Thea... Her, her, I, I have no idea. You know, it looks like you might be from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. The uh, Hera. And, um, and oh, my goodness, you know, this is hard to do. And and mm -hmm. um, and there's just so many. And, and by mentioning one, you know, then I overlook 50 others, you know. Mm -hmm. And a uh, what is that one? Uh, Tom and Sandy uh, uh, Ewing. And from Spain. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. And a Sally Depp and a mm -hmm. Susan Carter. Jeez. Can you imagine that? <laughs> and, um, and a Van uh, Danberg. That could be maybe, who knows? That might be Dutch and it might be in the U.S. Who knows? Paulette Belleville. And um, why don't you each just take a turn and just mention some names real quick. Blessings to them, and then we'll need to close. Yeah, Sally Depp, we bless you. Andy Porter, we bless you. Uh, Terry Menas, we bless mm -hmm. you. And uh, Suzanne, we bless you. Lori Fremo, we bless you. 
sometimes I can't use the last name. So <laughs> Marilyn uh, Bucini, we bless you. And my good friend, Nancy Horning, I saw her name earlier. I want to bless you. She's an intercessor mm -hmm. for many. And so we bless you as an intercessor. Uh, mm -hmm. Dale, uh, Go, Goiner, we bless you. Sue, Candace, Terry, we bless each of you. And thank you mm -hmm. for all that. We bless you. Thank uh, you, Lord. Go ahead, Shelby. Yes, we we bless you, Pansy. We bless you, Carol. And we bless you, Vandenberg. We bless you, Tillis Jan. And we bless you, uh, Albana. God, we bless all of our brothers and sisters yes, who have joined us mm -hmm. today, Lord God. We thank you for their hearts, for your city, city of Jerusalem. We thank you, Father, for their heart to pray. So we bless them today, Lord. Yeah, we Jesus, do. we bless Sheila. We bless Sharon Jack Jackson, Marilyn. We bless every one of those, Lord God. Some of them that we haven't even... Uh, mention the name mm -hmm. Emily King. We bless you, John. We bless you in the name of Jesus, and we pray blessings and 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 prosperity over you and your family. Mm -hmm. And some of you, you wonder about your future, and the Lord is saying that He's got it, mm -hmm. and yeah. He will bless your future and your children's future. Many of you, many of you that are wondering about that. And the Lord says he is blessing you. And even as you are praying for Jerusalem, you are going to be blessed even further. Lord, yeah. Jenny, Tia, we bless you in the name awesome. of Jesus. Amen. 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 That's so wonderful. Well, thank you, um, you for joining in with us today. And this is not maybe a typical prayer gathering for Jerusalem, Israel, and the Middle East, but we do it, and then we, I reference this as spirit-led and spirit-empowered prayer, mm -hmm. and then we definitely pray the scriptures, but then we find a vein, and today it ends up being a glory invasion based out of Isaiah 60, uh, verses 1 through 3 that God has a dream in his heart. Yes. And he was sharing part of his dream, and it got confirmed mm. by all three of us were carrying this. Yeah. And that's how God works, mm -hmm. because three times in his word, he says, mm -hmm. that he will confirm his word by the witness of two, two, one, Two, three, and <laughs> three. So anyway, thank you. And uh, I have had some people just ask us, um, could they give a donation? And yeah, you could if you would like to. You could go to GodEncounters.com mm -hmm. and over to the donation, and that would be uh, wonderful if you would like to do that. And this is the book, though, that we I was led to today is Revival Breakthrough. If you get it from our ministry, you will get 12 uh, video prayer um, devotionals, one that go with each um, chapter. And then there's an entire curriculum kit that goes with uh, that. And Or, of course, if you want to get it in a Kindle, that's great. And it's also in an audio book. That one, uh, I recorded that one with uh, my own uh, voice. So it's available in an audio book, in a Kindle, in the uh, soft cover, and it's available in an entire curriculum kit. But anyway, it's just been great to be with you again today. And I want to thank uh, my friends, Peggy Adams and Shelby Gilmore, for joining in, and we want to thank yes. the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Because Amen. you are the one who joined in with us today. Mm -hmm. And we want to thank yes. you because this is kind of dry and boring without you. Amen. <laughs> but when you join in, it's really delightful, fun, 
and always an adventure. Yeah. And so today we say fuego, mucho fuego, more fire and a Amen. Gloria. Yes. And I don't know how to say it, but a glory invasion. <laughs> Mm -hmm. for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. See some amen. of you tomorrow. Amen. amen. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Blake.